It was a startlingly kind of uh, original and creative uh, proposal, um, clearly done by the, uh, the author with uh, some passion for what he was doing and, and a lot of integrity about how he was executing it. He makes claims about a, a very sustainable condition, but I don't think that's really the point about the house. I think the house is really about experience and it's about the drama of pulling into this gap between you know, two folds of earth and then living within that space and then having this kind of water uh, at the end of it. One approaches something which is earthen and of the earth and soft and naturalistic and you open this crevice and you find this crystalline reflectivity and um, kind of light-filled shimmer that one was not nearly expecting. I think it's quite great also that, that on the one hand it, it uh, it really sets itself apart with a very dramatic concept, but then again at the same time it buries itself into the earth. So it's sort of doing two things at once. It's both being uh, extremely bold, but it's also trying to restrain itself. And that, that tension is fascinating.